Today's topic is A1C test, everything you need to know. For people living with diabetes, monitoring blood glucose through finger prick tests is the norm. However, these tests, although necessary, are quite limited in measuring blood glucose as they only measure the current amount and do not indicate any trends. This means that your overall blood sugar might be fine, even if your current fasting levels are abnormal. This is where the A1C test comes in. Introduced in the 1980s, the hemoglobin A1C test is important in monitoring diabetes as it helps check blood glucose levels over the previous two or three months. The test is also used for screening and diagnosing diabetes and pre-diabetes. It is convenient too, as it does not require a person to be fasting and can be given at any time. Let's look at the A1C test in detail. What does it measure? The A1C test measures the amount of glucose attached to hemoglobin in the body. Hemoglobin is the protein used by the body's red blood cells to carry and transport oxygen. Its typical lifespan lasts for around three months. During this time, glucose attaches to it in the form of glycates. Because of that, the presence of glucose can also be checked for up to three months. If the glucose attached to hemoglobin is low, you will have low A1C and vice versa. What are normal levels? People with a glycated level of less than 5.6 are considered normal, with 5 being the usual amount for people without diabetes. Levels between 5.6 and 6.4 indicate pre-diabetes. A1C levels of 6.5 and above are considered to be an indication of diabetes. Who needs it? An A1C test provides a more extensive look into blood glucose levels than a finger prick test. However, most diabetics do not need frequent tests. The finger prick tests are usually enough to give you a strong idea about your condition. Frequent A1C tests are required if 1. You are pregnant 2. Your treatment is being monitored and adjusted 3. You are dealing with type 1 diabetes 4. You and your doctor have certain blood glucose targets. However, one test is necessary for those with diabetes, pre-diabetes, or a family history of diabetes. What can influence an A1C test? A1C tests are often not reliable, as they can give a reading of 0.5 higher or lower. A doctor is likely to get the test repeated to get an average reading to use, possibly ignoring abnormalities. You might also get false results if you are suffering from anemia, liver diseases, or kidney diseases. What does high A1C indicate? If your A1C test shows an abnormally high read, it usually indicates uncontrolled diabetes. The conditions this places you at risk of include 1. Kidney disease 2. Cardiovascular disease 3. Eye damage 4. Nerve damage 5. Numbness and tingling. 6. Slower wound healing. 7. Being weak against infections. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.